That's right, 2B2T fans. This video's gonna be about chickens. And you may ask, what the hell could a 2B2T player do to cause mayhem on this server with chickens? Well, that's your first mistake. Underestimating the amount of genius 2B2T players have. Let me explain. It all started around November of 2023, when an old 2B2T player who originally joined the server in 2011, quit in 2016, and then rejoined again once 2B2T settled in with the 1.19 update. He created a base on the server called The Park, which included a chicken machine the base members would use for food. Basically, this machine would automatically collect eggs from the chickens and dispense them back into the chamber. Therefore, the amount of chickens in the chamber would progressively increase as time went on, so much so that his game would lag tremendously just from the sheer amount of chickens. He nicknamed this machine the Incubator. Eventually, he got the idea to use the Incubator to mess with crystal PvPers that would roam around spawn, lowering their FPS to unplayable amounts, as he really didn't like how they would always kill new players. So he got to work. Armed with a much more improved design, he started making incubators all over spawn. Now keeping that many chickens in one space comes with a few challenges. If you're a longtime viewer of my channel, you may remember my birthday livestream where we created a cake from scratch on 2B2T. One of the materials I had to get for the cake was eggs. Now during that time on 2B2T, this was much easier said than done. I did eventually find some chickens, but they wouldn't drop eggs because the server was just so laggy. So I decided to round up a bunch of them so I could AFK around them all until they eventually did. Until I apparently got too many in the same area and one of them just despawned. What? This happened because 2B2T had a plugin that would automatically remove mobs if there were too many in the same area as a measure to prevent lag. Luckily, this isn't an issue anymore because 2B2T is not only running 1.19, but is running a special server version called Folia, which adds multi-threading support into the game by separating the world into what are known as regions. Because of this, the artificial mob limit was removed and players could really have as many chickens as they want, until another problem occurs. After a certain amount of chickens are packed into a single block, they start to die. This is because of a feature added by Mojang a few versions back called Entity Cramming, which limits each block to 24 mobs before they start dying. But a solution was quickly found. By adding vines to the chamber, the game for some reason didn't care how many mobs were in the same space. Perfect. Now we just have to keep adding more chickens until… great. This FPS is unplayable. Because of the sheer amount of entities on the screen, the game will lag tremendously unless you have beefy hardware or some mods to increase performance. The mods of choice are Sodium, which is basically the modern version of Optifine, and this new one that just came out, which takes advantage of NVIDIA GPU hardware acceleration to drastically increase chunk rendering speed, render distance, as well as FPS performance. Now that all the problems are worked out in regards to handling massive quantities of chickens in a single block, how can you use them to cause mayhem on 2B2T? Well, there's a few ways. One of which is to simply place these incubators all around spawn. If a player happens to come within render distance of a machine, depending on his computer hardware, his game could literally freeze in an instant, which is exactly what happened to a player when he followed me through a nether portal where an incubator was. You can see just how low my FPS is, and this is with an RTX 3070, Sodium, and Nvidia. Eventually someone else who was following me also had a powerful PC setup and started crystalling me. And yeah, I combat logged because I can't crystal PvP worth a damn. Anyways, another method to cause insane lag, this time specifically with players in the nether, was to gather as many chickens as possible and dispense all of their eggs into a nether portal. I'm talking about literally thousands of eggs. What would happen in this case is if someone suddenly loaded the chunks to the portal on the other side, their game could potentially freeze up because literally all the chickens from the eggs that went through the portal would be spawning in all at the exact same time. At this point, the word was spreading about these machines, and more and more players were creating them. But the players who spend most of their time at spawn, mostly crystal PvPers, had enough, and made it their goal to destroy them. Operation KFC was initiated, and my god, was it a bloodbath. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe a more humane approach was needed. Instead of frying massive amounts of chickens in vats of hot oil, a movement to instead free the chickens was also underway. Maybe just a few accidentally died to Entity Predator, but some were still saved. These shenanigans were going on for days on 2B2T. More machines were made and destroyed, so of course there had to be an end at some point. You see, these lag machines were not only causing lag to one's game, but also the server, to an extent. Remember those Folia regions I mentioned earlier? Well, a machine located in one of those regions will only lower the TPS in that particular region. The lowest ever recorded was around 6. Apparently, that was enough server lag, along with the likelihood of many players reporting their frame rate issues, for 2B2T's owner to get involved and put a stop to all of this. The bug that allowed more than 24 entities in a single block got patched. And that was the end of that. Wow, well that was insane. Who knew that having access to a sheer amount of one mob type could cause this much mayhem? Oh my god!